from here. He, Ronald Reagan, to America. For the next two decades, he had put us right on the right track. He rejected those who wanted to overregulate the new technology industry. Instead, he got government out of the way of the high-tech revolution that was sweeping the nation, especially here in California. And America came back bigger and better than ever. What an example that you all have, those roots here. Ronald Reagan could stand on and grow from and bring prosperity to the rest of the nation from here. Friends, common sense never goes out of style. We saw how he applied it back then. It, it, it still works today. The 2010 and 2012 elections, because real change will take these next two elections. These elections are the most important of our generation. Real America is at a tipping point. A lot of people are saying that we're at a breaking point. We have got to change directions. We must step up to the plate and win the big game for the little guy, the middle class, the unemployed, the overtaxed, the overregulated. And we don't have to wait 56 years for it. We don't have to wait 56 days for it even. November 2nd is right around the corner. I can see it from my house. to change direction. That obligation that we have, it's now. Our other generations of Americans have faced really big challenges too. I think that this is our challenge. But I don't doubt for one minute that the American spirit is still alive, it's still well, we can meet this challenge. We're Americans, there is nothing that a good old election can't fix when we consider what the challenges are in front of us. again and if anyone needs proof just look look at the courage and the spirit of our military men and women who fight our wars for us and protect our rights and our about allowing our spirits to soar just consider these military men and women as they fight for our rights and our values in faraway battles. They are American heroes and they're selfless and they're spirited and they're loyal and they're patriotic. They are the best of America. And you know, one of those heroes was from right here in San Jose, Pat Tillman, who gave up the money and the and his family sacrificed, giving up a pro football career to serve his country, and he ultimately giving his life for our freedom. You know, remember to thank God every day for Pat, for his family, for the thousands like him who make us so proud to be Americans. And you know, when I hear people say or had said during the campaign that they had never been proud of America until, until that time, I think, haven't they met anybody in uniform yet? I mean, I get tears in my eyes when I see that young man, that young woman, California, it is here, it is here that, that desire, that craving of freedom, of opportunity, of an exceptional America again. It's in you to fight for what is right. And what a tradition that you have here when it comes to that patriotism and that respect of our military and fighting for what is right. This area has always had a long military tradition. In World War II, for thousands of soldiers and seamen boarding ships bound for the Pacific, you know, their very last glimpse of America before they headed out was, was here. It was the Golden Hills of San Francisco Bay. Their sweethearts would watch them go from the top of the mark. This place is very, very significant. It's very special. Here, you know that sacrificing for the greater good is an American tradition. 
This place is significant, and I believe that it's time that we make the tough choices to meet the tough challenges that are in front of our country for the future of our children and to preserve the greatest country on earth. No one was a bigger believer in America and her exceptionalism than your Ronald Reagan was. And he believed in time-tested truths that let us succeed then, and if we apply them today, I guarantee you we will succeed, we'll grow, we'll prosper, we'll thrive again. I guarantee it if we believe and act on these time-tested truths that the government that governs least governs best. towards a more perfect union. And that freedom is a God-given right. Freedom isn't free, though. It's worth fighting for. And again, that is why we thank those who are willing to fight for it and those who will support those who are willing to fight for it. And that time-tested truth that the America's our men and women in uniform, nothing to apologize for because they're a force for good throughout the world. And like Reagan would say, that time test of truth, that belief that America is that shining city on a hill and that our best days really are yet to come. If we do our part, as President Reagan said, standing on those Californian roots, what Reagan would say was the great confident roar of American progress and growth and optimism will resound again. So I thank you for being here, for being part of the solution. We can take it back. Let it start here in California. November